Hi guys. So I wanted to get on here. I'm sorry for the angle. <laughs> I am sitting with Alaric and I am just doing this as we go. So you're kind of propped up in an interesting position. You might kind of notice that I look the same as I did in a previous video. It is the same day. I'm just doing some a couple of different videos um, in a row so that I can get them out to you guys. But I wanted to do a little bit of an introduction video to a series that I think will be super fun for me. Um, hopefully fun for you and interesting all at the same time. Um... And hopefully everybody will get something out of it, whether it be, you know, different things, but something out of it. So, um, I was talking to a friend. Um, she subscribes to me on YouTube and that's where I met her is from YouTube. So I was talking to her and she was talking about her um, grandson. And when she was talking to me about it, she was asking me some questions about some things that have happened to my kids and like my experiences and what I did about it. And it just dawned on me, um, there's not really enough information out there about things, you know? If you're a first-time parent and a first-time mom, especially if you're younger or you um, have never had kids before, let me see if I can kind of do this without it falling. Um, if you've never had kids before or you, um, you're just inexperienced in general, you might not know a lot of the things that come up, like there's all sorts of things with babies that come up. And honestly, the hospital just kind of, they take them out of you, they button you up, um, they make sure the baby's okay, and then they just send you home and you're like, okay, what do I do now? Um, I know that I had a lot of questions when I had my first baby and I've been around babies my whole life. And I know there's a lot of people that didn't have siblings maybe, or maybe you were the youngest, so you were never around your siblings when they were babies, or maybe you've never been around babies at all. You just have a small family. Um, maybe you're having your baby super, super young, or maybe it's your grandchild's or your sister's baby or whatever. And you haven't had babies in a really long time and all of these issues are coming up and you can't remember how you dealt with them or maybe they're new issues that you didn't have when your babies were little. So there's all of these different reasons why I feel like us moms should be sharing together because that's how we learn, right? I don't have a lot of girl friends, so I don't have a lot of mom friends. So all of my advice has to come from my mom or my grandmother or um, that's pretty much it. Um, and sometimes, like I said, it's been a long time since they had kids. They don't really remember some of the things that they did or some of the things that happened with us. Or maybe that never happened with us at all. And these are new issues that are popping up because of new medications or new this or new that. And they never had those. So there's all these different sorts of reasons why it is a great idea for me to share with you um, my experiences and what I've gone through and things with my baby, um, things that I think of that I brought the baby home and I'm like, what about this? Or what about this? And there's only so much Google can tell you. Um, I am, first of all, disclaimer, disclaimer, okay? I am not a medical anything, <laughs> I don't know anything about the medical field or medical things or terms that you should use. Advice, it's not medical advice, okay? Um, this may even go against some things that the doctor has told you because I know my doctor told me some things and not to do some things and I did them anyway and they worked for me. Um, I feel like mamas know their babies and every baby is different. So placing generalizations on babies as a whole sometimes is what the doctor has to do and you know your baby better than anyone and I feel like sometimes you have to take liberty in that. Um, <clears throat> not all the time, I'm not telling you to go against what your doctor is saying to you, but sometimes gut instinct overruled medical advice for me. Um, so I'm going to share the gut instinct, not the medical advice and I am in no way qualified to share medical advice to you. Um, I'm not a baby guru. I have three beautiful boys. I have a six-year-old. I have a three, soon to be three-year-old and I have a newborn. They're all boys so I can't tell you about girls. I can tell you about boys because that's what I know. Boy mom. Um, I was seven when my brother and sister were born. They were twins so I had to help out a lot. I was always around babies and then I had my own but there were still questions I had. Um, I've babysat, I've been a nanny, 
still questions I have. And so I want to share some of those with you. And I think this is going to be a really fun series. So like I said, if you're a grandparent or an aunt or an uncle or whatever, if you're the dad and you just want a woman's perspective, or if you, whatever the case may be, if you're a nanny or a babysitter and you just want to know, or if you just want to hear my side of things and my story and my experiences, because it's kind of going to be a super casual, just kind of a share vibe. You can still watch and I'm sure like if that's your thing and you just want to know about experiences I've had with my babies, then hopefully you'll enjoy these videos as well. And maybe you don't have babies in your life, but you just are curious what happened in mine. So, um, what is he doing? What's he doing? And so, um, yeah, I want to share that with you guys. I want to share some things that I feel the hospital doesn't really prepare you for. And it's like a what now moment. I want to share these things. I have lots of different ideas. If there's anything that you have that you would like to see in these videos, let me know down below. Maybe I've never been through it. If I haven't, I can't really help you. But if I've been through that, then I'll, I'll surely, you know, talk about it and speak about it. If there's any questions that you have. I feel like mom to mom should be a normal thing. We should share things with each other. Um, and these were questions I had. These were things when I brought my baby home, I was like, what the heck is going on here? And what am I supposed to do with this? And I think that so often we want to act like we know it all and we never had questions and never had struggles and never went through anything to figure things out. We had it all together. But we don't break down and be honest with each other and say, I didn't know what to do with that either, but this is what I ended up doing. This is what worked. This is what didn't. Maybe it can help you. And I feel like that's necessary. So like I said, I was chatting with a friend and just talking to her and telling her some of the things that I did for things that were happening with her grandson. I just thought, why are we not doing this with each other more often? Um, and I thought maybe it can help somebody. So that's what I like this channel for. That's what this channel is all about. The reason why I did it is because... I love sharing. I love to talk. I love to share. I love to help other people. I feel like when you are in a community together and you are sharing life together, that it helps people. And that is what I want this channel to do. And um, no matter what kind of video it is, that's my goal. So, um, he's just kicking around and talking a little bit. Um, he's actually staying awake for quite some time today. So that's very, very good. We don't want days and nights mixed up, do we, mamas? So I just wanted to get on here and let you guys know that that is a video series that I'm going to be doing. I don't, uh-oh, we have a meltdown. I'm not really, hold on just a minute, baby. It's okay. I don't know what exactly I'm going to be calling this series yet, but um, that is going to be what it is about. Hold on just a minute. Hold on just one second. And so he's going to get on here anyways and shake up the bed. Okay, well, come here. Come sit right here by mommy. Oh, can you say hello? Ah. Hello. Yeah. So that is what it's going to be shirtless as always. That's what it's going to be about. It is going to be a video series just kind of about um, my experiences with my boys and when they were babies and what happened and what I did and how we got through it and how you can get through it too um hey, Dad, okay. <laughs> you're the sweetest you're the sweet cuddly um and so yeah i'm super excited about it so again if there's anything that you want me to talk about leave it down below um, there's lots of videos that I didn't get to do while I was pregnant because time got away from me and then he was born and he was born early and he was a surprise so I didn't get to film those videos. Um, but yeah, this after journey where he is actually born and integrating him into the family with these other two beauties and, um, shh, hold on just a minute. And, um... All of that I definitely want to share. So this is just one of those things that I really want to share with you guys. So leave your comments down below. Definitely feel free to share them with anybody that you know that just had a baby, especially if it is their first one. And I'm super excited to get started with this series with you guys. So let me know what you think. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.